is hier aangeschoven Amir Lieberman. Uh, hij stond zojuist ook op het podium hier in de stad Schouwburg. Hij is een pioneer researcher in the field of forensic voice analysis en de founder van Nimesisco. In 1996 he set out to, well, invent, you could say, or to build the ultimate lie detector. Mr. Lieberman, what's the difference between a lie detector and a love detector? Lie detector and love detector, there's a huge difference. Yeah. These are two different sets of measurements altogether. I'll tell you the story about love detector because this is really, uh, I don't know if to say amusing, but it is. Uh, it is a, how to really transform a bug into a system. Yeah. Because we were not set to build love detectors. We are not there at all. We were building the ultimate lie detector. Yeah. And and before we start out talking about uh, how you do that, let's have a clip. Let's see, look at a clip of your TED talk on stage today where you explain sure. why you wanted to build the ultimate lie detector. Very good, 15 years ago, a terror attack took the lives of three young mothers in Israel. <coughs> I was just recently married myself. And with the naive ambition of a 24 years old, you love it to be I decided stage? to build uh, the ultimate lie detector. <laughs> you're saying you were very young. It's very noisy here, so I, I don't know if you heard, but this is the clip where you, you, tell, you talk about yourself being 24 yeah. and uh, trying to invent the lie detector. With the naive, no, listen, I was just married. Yeah. And suddenly there is a terror attack. Three young mothers are killed. Baby is being carried out by, by, by the police officer. And that, that picture really did something to me. And I said, you know, I really don't know what got into me. I was walking back then, I was writing code for, for uh, the Israel, you know, doing some stuff. Uh, and, and from some reason, I, I thought this is something I really need to do. And I never thought about really doing it for all my life. I thought yeah. about seeding the concept giving the concept to the professional team and, you know, let them run with it. But yeah, but then you, you, you but build then a whole career say, no, about it. it cannot be done. No. And then you started, but you proved that it can be done. Uh, we'll there's, there's talk no. about that later. This is Mr. Richard Lamb, your neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. I want to introduce him to you. He's a, he's a well-known trend strategist and trend forecaster here in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. He saw your TED Talk this morning. Yeah, what I was wondering how yeah. actually, besides your own analysis, mm -hmm. how did you actually feel when you got up stage? Do you love the stage or...? I was very nervous. But, I was very nervous. Yeah. I was well prepared. I mean, I talked a lot about, but I, I did a lot of rehearsal. I tried and to memorize everything. Can you hear that in, or see that in the analysis, or is it totally different? I, you can see that I'm not thinking that much because I'm memorizing a lot by heart. But it's like I did in high school. Yes, <laughs> I did it too. You know, <laughs> I was pretty good back then. I was you know, not so good right now. Yeah. But. First. Before we talk about the lie detector, yeah. first talk about, let's talk about lying. Why do people lie? Ah, we think that people lie, as I said in my talk, because they can see into the future. Yeah. I mean, just think about it. Any lie that you tell, anything that, once you think about it, it is all because you want to change the way things are developing. You know? Where are you? Have you just left home? No, yeah. no, I'm right here, you know, yeah. right next to you. Because if I say I just left home, you know, you're going to be looking at me and saying, uh, okay, why did you just do this? And so I want to avoid you being angry. Yeah. So if I am sitting in a, in a police station and the, the police officer asks me, you know, did you commit this crime? And in fact, you know, I did. I know that if I say, yes, you know, I did it, you know, I robbed the knife all day. Gonna happen. I know what's going to happen. Yeah. I have to lie to change it from yeah. happening. Okay, so now we know the motives for people, why they lie. Then you started out 24, later on you, you perfected, perfectionized your system. The lie detector. How does it work? How do you, you have this forensic okay, voice no, analysis? That's that's the thing that people I really have to, people to get. There's no such thing as a lie detector. Okay. There is no such thing as a lie detector. All you can do is gather responses. Yeah. Now polygraph do it by measuring reaction. If you are excited or confused or, or you know just think too much, then you will get reaction. Yeah. And what do you what do? we are trying to do, and that's actually what, what the new technology seems to be doing very nicely, is understand what is the motivation. We can, in fact, separate between a stressful response, which will mean I want to run away, to a positive response, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Just think about, and it's the same, sometimes the same situation. Think about it, you're going on the street, okay? And, and suddenly a very nice, attractive lady comes towards you. Yeah. That normally would be an exciting thing, yeah. right? But just imagine your wife sitting next to you. You want to run away. Okay, that's a different story, right? <laughs> so that's that's another that's a, um, 
just making to understand what the difference between excitement and stress is. Yeah, so you can you can measure that, and that way you can see what people really feel like, even though they say, "I'm very happy at the moment." Oh, how nice to see you! But you know what? I Inside don't even remember I don't who you are. See you again. If I want to see you, I will give you a call. Really. Yeah. So you know the deeper lying patterns behind what that's, people that's are saying. That's the thing, and that's the that's sometimes a challenge because not most but people do we want to know that? Happy. Do we really want to know that? Well, Don't we want to be lied to? That depends who you are. If you are a psychologist, if you are an investigator, I think you do. Yeah. In politics, maybe. In politics? So you analyze... You know, in politics, that's the tricky <laughs> one, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't really want to know yeah. the truth. You analyze some people today on stage, for, for instance, Mr. Paul Zak, another guest analysis. we had. Yeah. How was he doing? Oh, he, he even listened. took his shirt off, so he, was, he, he must was, have been very relaxed. No, I, I must admit that by the system reading, he was very stressed, but he did it, he pulled it through. He was very confident. Uh, we can actually see, you know, that's, that's an interesting thing, because we never really did emotional analysis on people speaking, and that by when Ted suggested we do that, it was kind of very exciting. Yeah, here, we'll let the camera see. That's, uh, hold on a second. So we see the energy levels, the stress levels. The we titans. see the energy level. These are just a simplified display. I understand. Course, so yeah, we can yeah, show yeah. just a few emotions that, are, that yeah. we found to be critical. There is the emotional diamond, which we especially made for, for TED Talk. Yes. Yeah. To show what are the dominant emotions. And this is you. No, this is... I mean, oh, this is me. Yeah. Yes, this is me. 55% so, yes. of stress. I was very nervous. Okay. I was, I, I'm honest with God, I Okay. Was, I was very so nervous. what's the difference between you and, for instance, Mr. Barack Obama, who's, ah, who's a well-known, very good yeah, a, speech. There, that's a slight difference, of yeah. course. Just notice that in my part, you see the stressful level, and you see the shyness, and uh -huh. you see confidence going into a certain direction. Yeah. But when you go with, with uh, the more professional speakers... Yeah. So let's say Mr. Obama, you also analyze Mr. Yeah, Clinton, is, for this, example. Yeah. So this if you look, Paul this Zach. is Paul Zak. Uh -huh. well, let's take two. Yeah. Yeah. He's also... You know, you know, he's, he's a confident guy, but he's, he's a bit a more stressed than you. He's a bit more stressed, but then again, he thinks, he thinks more as he yeah. speaks. Now, if you go to the professional team... Yeah. We got Let's Mr. Look Clinton at the different, here. This is a completely different picture. He's got a lot of energy. This guy is like, this is off the, like off the, the, the charts almost. Yeah. Bunny. yeah, he's off the charts, <laughs> and you can see that he's very confident, very passionate, and very emotional. Yeah, and he doesn't, you know, he's, he's not he's stressed like at all. That. He's not stressed. Very confident. He doesn't think as he speaks. Okay. Now it doesn't mean that he's not smart. Yeah. It means that he's actually very smart because he doesn't have to invest so much yeah. in thinking. And you can uh, measure it by the use of his voice, right? That's basically for let's that's say, what we do. We the anal an analysis for dummies. That's the way you can explain it, or not? Analysis for dummies? No. What's no, no. I mean, it's point? it's my explanation for dummies. I mean. No, it's not for dummies. It's not nothing is for dummies. It's it's really a matter of, of looking closer into what goes on in, in our mind. Yeah. Because there's no but really... But there's no way around it. Can you, can you fake it? Can you fake the system? Can you try to... If you're a good actor, you can try to fake your voice. Yeah. But, but if you don't feel it inside, then it, it will not show. No. But I do want to touch again the basis of, of the love detector thing versus lie detector. Yeah. Because love detector is, is actually another route we found in the voice while researching the, the lies. And in some situations, we notice that we get very strange results. When we, we, we walk with couples and we, we build a system and we, we do the test, and some couples that, were, that we know that were intimate or, or, or had different type of relationship suddenly didn't register correctly with the lie detector system. Oh. And so looking at what was unique patterns in their voice, yeah. we are able to identify what, what, what is arousal looks like yeah. in the voice. So that's the love detector that's we started detector. about talking. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's a completely different side technology. We yeah. use it a lot in, in uh, security settings as well. Yeah. I mean, there, if you think about it, there are many, many situations like in a, in a, when you're fully investigating a case, you want to understand the interrelationship between couples. You want, I, if I speak about my wife, you will see yeah. My attention you can use it up. online as well, I think. Yeah. In Skype conversations, yeah. maybe, or whatever. Yeah. Or telemarketing, because yeah, your company it, yeah. uh, Just delivers your technology for, for online marketeers or, or telemarketeers as you well. Know, just think about you getting very upset about the nice cell phone you just got and nobody to give you support. Yeah. And you know what? The nice the, the, the lady that no, no, just picked okay. up the phone, you know, she, she just want to finish her shift. Yeah. She, she, you know, she's a human too. She has its motivation. She has her drives. 
And you're like, okay, so you know what, yeah. that's, that's just life. Okay. We can talk about this for hours because it's very yes. interesting, your technology. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Richard Lam as well. Uh, dit waren twee, of uh, we gaan door met deel 2 van de TED Talks in de Schouwburg. De grote zaal is inmiddels weer volgestroomd. Uh, volgens mij zit iedereen er klaar voor. We gaan door met meer talks. En straks is de talkshow weer terug. Tot straks.